What is up guys, Zunkris here and today I'm gonna talk to you about Fuji X-T2, about event photography and how this camera fits into my needs, my workflow, my bag. Okay guys, so like I promised, today I came back with a short review about this beautiful camera that made me switch from Sony uh, full frame to an APS-C sensor. Uh, this is a great, great camera and I shoot like uh, four or five events by now. I had it for like two, uh, one month and a half, two months and I'm very, very, very happy with the results. Um, there you have a few of my sample pictures that I got. Uh, most of them are straight out of the camera, just converted to, uh, to JPEGs. And it's a beautiful camera. I'm very happy with it. I'm actually a very, very uh, impressed by the ISO performance of this sensor. Uh, it's an APS-C sensor, but the ISO is pretty good. These pictures have been shot at probably between 800 and 3200 ISO. Uh, so in a low light situation, the autofocus is amazing. I'm very happy with it on all my lenses. I'm using the 23 millimeter f1.4, the 56 millimeter f1.2, the 7200, uh, excuse me, the 50-140 f2.8 and uh, the 18 to uh, 55 f2.8 to f4. These are my four lenses that I'm using right now. I also have uh, some vintage lenses, uh, the 50 millimeter Super Tacumar f1.4 and a Helios 44 to 58 millimeter f2. Uh, so this is mainly my whole setup. Uh, I shoot, like I said, four events with it and it's, it's, I don't know, I, I, I don't know if I can tell you exactly what I feel, but it's it's a great feel. It's exactly the same thing that I felt when I was shooting with my uh, old SLR cameras. Uh, it's great, it's fast, you can change your uh, th settings very, very fast. You can change your aperture uh, on the lens, you can uh, change your shutter speed over here, you can just put it on auto if you want to. Also the ISO, uh, you, can, you can easily change the ISO here. Um, the shutter button is so nice. So if you are the photojournalist type of shooter like myself, uh, this is my first tip for you. Uh, you should go for the soft release shutter button, this small piece here. I hope you guys can see it. Uh, so this one will help you, uh, you know, for me it's like uh, my finger, it, it actually um, falls uh, exactly what I need to. Uh, I don't have a problem with the shutter uh, release that the Fuji put in, but it's a little bit too, uh, I think it's it's a little bit too uh, small, too short, and my finger goes a little bit too deep when I'm, when I'm shooting, and I uh, actually experienced some problems uh, when I was, I, I'm using back bottom focus, but when I'm shooting with the with the uh, normal shutter button, if you can see, I'm trying to take it off, this off and show you. So there you go. This one is a screw thing. So as you can see, this one is kind of short. And when I'm shooting with this, I always move the exposure compensation knob here, uh, either uh, up or down, and that kind of bothers me. That's why I bought this beautiful uh, shutter, soft shutter re release. It's easy to, to put on, you just have to uh, tighten up a little bit. It'll probably get loose, but you can tighten up uh, um, very, very easy. The thing is, uh, I hate something that uh, actually uh, it's not my fault, it's Fuji's fault. Uh, every time you tighten up or you actually screw this button in, uh, you're gonna uh, turn on and off the camera. As you can see, I don't know if you can see exactly, but now I turn on the camera. So I need to turn it off all the time when I'm, so, or just hold this and trying to, to tighten the, the soft uh, shutter release. Uh, now, like I said, I'm, I'm going to tell you a few things about this camera um, in terms of uh, event photography. I'm very happy with it, very, very happy. Uh, the, the ISO performance, like I said, it's amazing, as you can uh, tell from the pictures that I uh, showed you. Um, I don't have anything to, to, uh, to say against it. Maybe just a few perks that I, I'm not uh, really used with uh, by now but I will probably get used in the future. This 
uh, wheel here, the front wheel, uh, it's actually uh, useless for me because I can I can change the aperture uh, via uh, this wheel. So um, I'm pretty used with Sony and all the DSLRs that I have. And from time to time, I forget that I have the aperture on the lens and trying to change the aperture using this uh, wheel here. Another thing that feels a little bit cumbersome for me is that because I'm using the back button uh, focus, um, these two buttons and everything, actually any bottom on, on this camera can be uh, easily customized in, in the menus. But I'm using these two buttons as an AF on um, button. And both of them, they feel kind of strange when you press them. They're not very, um, you know, raised. They're not raised at all, actually. And you feel like you're, you're missing it when you uh, press, when you're trying to find it or, you know, trying to press it. Like I said, it, I think it's a, just a, a matter of uh, getting used with the camera. But for now, it feels a little bit cumbersome for me uh, comparing to Sony and comparing to, to other DSLRs that I'm using. Another good thing, and for me, it's a great thing, is uh, this amazing grip. Uh, when you put it on, the camera won't become, you know, like a, like a huge brick. Uh, it's, it does give a, a little bit of a weight, but not that much. And it's a very, very nice thing to have three batteries in your camera. One inside the camera and two in your grip. Um, I love the grip. I love the fact that they put the, the thumb uh, stick over here, the, the joystick. Uh, on the grip as well so anytime when you're using the grip uh, in a vertical position you can just uh, change your uh, autofocus points very easily uh, i'm also a little bit torn by the fact that i heard a lot of people saying that uh, they're using um, third-party batteries in their grips and they had uh, some issues with that some of them you know uh, just get uh, hot or um, you know shutting down the camera or just get uh, freezes or something like that well I didn't experience any of those uh, I'm actually using third-party batteries in my grip uh, this is the wasabi uh, batteries that I uh, actually trust uh, a lot because uh, I use them on the Sony as well and other um, brands uh, I never had a problem with them I hope I won't uh, like I said but this is pretty much it about this issue. I don't, I don't know anything about it because I didn't experience it. Uh, we'll see in the future what's going to happen. Um, other than that, I'm, uh, I wanted to tell you that I'm very happy with the lenses, uh, the uh, 5612 and the 52140, which is actually a 7200 uh, on uh, 30 milli uh, 35 millimeters uh, cameras. Um, <clears throat> They're both amazing sharp lenses. They're great. Autofocus is fast. I'm actually very, very uh, impressed with the 2314. Uh, the bokeh coming coming out of that lens, it's it's beautiful. Uh, actually, what I'm keeping all the time on my camera when I'm going out for a street photography or you know just a, a quick session of doing something, it's the 18 to 55. Like I said, the uh, f 2.8 to f 4. This lens is great. I only have one complaint about it. It seems that uh, it, it's creeping on the 35. Uh, slowly, it's going to creep back. I don't know if it's just my lens. Uh, I don't know if others do the same thing, but it was just something that I want you to tell. So be aware of it. And if you, if you have problem with things like this, just stay away from, from this lens. I don't. I love the lens. It's sharp enough. It, it's, it's doing good, good for videos. Um, I don't know. I, I just like it. Actually, being a 2.8 to uh, f4, uh, it makes a, uh, actually a professional lens. It's wide enough. It's um, fast enough. So I really, really like it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope that the video helped you or uh, uh, your friends. Don't forget to share it, like, uh, give it a thumbs up uh, if you uh, really like the video. And be here with me uh, for, for more videos. I uh, will have a giveaway soon because we're reaching 100 subscribers this was my main goal for this year hope you guys like the content and don't forget i will definitely see you in the next one bye